I'm Brooke with Motor and TV. I'm here with Ken Lingenfelter. Uh, we are here at SEMA at their booth and we're discussing some of the products that they have launched for this year. Yeah, you know, Lingenfelter Performance Engineering has been around for 45 years, so uh, we mostly work on General Motors cars. And uh, we're drag racers, road racers, and uh, just uh, fun car builders, uh, as I said, but mostly General Motors products. Why, why did you guys choose GM over one of the other manufacturers? You know, I'm a Corvette guy. I've always been a Corvette guy from being a little kid, and uh, uh, frankly, it's just an amazing car to start to work with. But uh, LS engines, we were really known as the expert in the country building LS, LS engines for the longest time, now the LT engines. and. Sure. Uh, as a result, uh, we've had a long, thriving business and been a part of SEMA for quite a while. Um, <clears throat> you said 45 years. Are you the founder of the company I'm or not. are you maintaining my, a legacy? Uh, my cousin John founded the company uh, back in 1972. Okay. Uh, John, unfortunately, was uh, killed from some racing, uh, from a racing incident. Uh, he was in a horrendous uh, drag racing accident in uh, 2002 and died from his injuries in 2003. Sorry and uh, yeah, it was a very tragic thing because John was an amazing engineer. Uh, but uh, we're doing the best we can to live out John's legacy. And uh, company's a lot bigger now, and we cover a lot more territory. And uh, sure. we're going straight at it. So you guys carry products that range from all the way from a, a single fuel pump up to a complete built engine. Right. Do you guys start with a GM block, or do you manufacture your own blocks? No, we don't manufacture blocks, but we do start with uh, you know, with a good GM block, whether it be LS or LT1, LT4. Um, you know, they build some amazing products and uh, they've done a great job uh, with those cars. Uh, we just make them a little faster and a little better. Yeah, sure, I understand. Um, so, w when you guys start in on one of their blocks, I mean, you're, you're, every aspect of that gets remachined, or do you guys go and test tolerances, or what's, what's the biggest changes you guys make to the block itself? You know, everything depends on what our customer is going to do with the car. They, uh, customers come to us because they want to go drag racing, they want to do autocross, they want to do road racing, or maybe they just want to go to car shows and show off. Uh, our brand's pretty well known because we've been around for so long, and uh, having a Lingenfelder car is something special and uh, we're focused on making sure they get exactly what they want. So as far as generation-wise, you guys go all the way back to like four bolt mains, 1960s modifications, all the way up to the current, or do you guys focus more on the, on the current market? You know, the car that we really cut our teeth on was the C4 ZR1 and the C4 Corvettes. Now, we don't do many of those anymore because okay. it's hard to find parts for those cars these days, but C5, C6, C7 Corvettes, uh, Cadillac CTSVs, um, you know, uh, Camaros we've done forever, Firebirds. So, you know, when it comes to uh, building cars, we're pretty much focused on more things that are up to date. Okay. Somebody wants to bring us a C5 Corvette though, and uh, you know, wants to take it out and drag race it or road race it or show it off, we've got plenty of solutions for those two. So you guys are pretty much LS3 and up, basically. Yeah, I, I would say that, but you know, the fact is that we can build just about anything anybody wants. Uh, there's not a big market for the early engines in the, uh, you know, C1, C2, C3 Corvettes. So it's sure. it's mostly a, a racing uh, heritage that we have, and and we're focused more in that direction. Okay, so you guys have probably heard about the Ecopo. You guys have plans yet, or talk to them about making some modifications to that? Yeah, no, you know, I'm not an electric car guy. <laughs> I'm not not yeah. into the electric stuff. No, we just thought it was kind of interesting. That it they is were, interesting. That they, I think they came out that as a concept. Yeah. yeah, it is interesting. I think there's uh, a place for electric cars in this world, but um, I think by the time they're really uh, uh, coming into some real numbers, I'll be ready to retire. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that aspect right. of it. Exactly. Well, is there anything else, you know, as far as your line goes or any new innovative products you guys are putting out this year that you'd like to talk about? Well, one of the things we've got at this show is this 1,000 horsepower Camaro that sits behind me here. This is a Z01 Camaro with an LT4 engine. Uh, we're clicking off nine fives right now in really non-drag racing weather. That was a 90 degrees heat and lots sure. of humidity. Um, we're pretty sure the car is, uh, we'll get into the eights when uh, we get a chance to test it on a good day. Uh, but it runs on pump gas. Uh, you take the skinnies and the slicks off and you can drive around and it's a very, very well behaved street car. So is that uh, supercharged, turboed? Uh supercharged 2650 Aldebrock. Okay. Yep. It's an amazing car. And uh, since we've been showing it off, we've taken a number of orders for them and uh, it's got a great future in its, in its, uh, in its, in, in its path. So our business is pretty much made up of uh, engineering parts, 
We have our own performance parts that we engineer through our engineering department. Those are available through us at Lingenfelder.com. Uh, we also build full cars. Customer will call us and say, this is what I want to do. They'll bring their car by and we'll do the build right in our shop. Um, we also ha can have cars drop ship directly from GM to us. Uh, somebody buys a new uh, uh, ZR1 or, or Z06 or whatever and wants us to, to modify it, they'll uh, have it drop ship to us. We'll take care of everything they're looking for and deliver the car. Now, I've heard of other, I've heard of other modifiers doing this where they take possession of the car first, they show up first in the title to show, you know, paper trail uh, the, that it was actually a, like, you know, a Lingenfelder, et cetera. Do you guys do that where you'll purchase a vehicle from GM, make the modifications so you are the first owner to show the, the paper trail of who built the car originally? The only, the only time we take title to the car is when we buy it and we do uh, the development program to test the engine. Okay. Most of the time, the customer already already owns the car when they bring it in for, okay. to us for modifications. Do those program cars ever make it out to end users, or those pretty much sure. stay in the family? Oh, you, yeah. you guys yeah. do sell them. Okay. Yeah, in the end, when we're done modifying or testing, uh, those cars will typically be uh, available through our website, or we'll take them to auction and sell them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you guys do anything with transmissions? Anything besides the engine and the drive line? We work with some great transmission companies, Tremec and such. Uh, when we've got an application where we think the uh, transmission for the car that's different is different than the uh, needs to have, needs to be something different than GM produces, uh, we've got some great resources to get that work done. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much. No, you're welcome. Thank sure. you very much for yeah, talking to us. Glad to. Awesome. Yep. Very good. All right, guys. Thanks Perfect. for stopping by. Hey, thank, thank you. you.